Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about eight of the most rare Magic the Gathering cards of all times. So the first on the list would be the Black Lotus. Back in 2013, a almost brand new copy of the Black Lotus sold in an auction for a whopping $27,000. The price tag established the card as the rarest and priciest in the game's history. Produced among the very first cards way back in the 90s, the Black Lotus power in gameplay is absolute. This has cemented its reputation as the best card of all time with the ca capability of enhancing any deck. The Black Lotus is so powerful that it was banned from official tournaments bar vintage. It was non-promotional and part of the alpha deck which only had 1,100 printed cards. It gives a player 3 mana. The next would be Ancestral Recall. Also part of the original alpha deck, Ancestral Recall is a bit less influential than the Black Lotus, but it has ample power to alter the course of the game significantly. It authorizes a player or the opponent to draw 3 cards, thereby gaining the card holder the ability to win or lose a game if unleashed at the right time. The card's artwork is Mayan inspired and by face value one would never guess its worth. As a collector favorite many ancestral recalls are a bit worn but they still manage to fetch an average of $2,000. The mint ones they can often range from $4,000 to $5,000. The next card on our list is Mox Sapphire the most revered card in the Mox set, Mox Sapphire, is both powerful and expensive. The Mox set was a subset contained in the original Alpha set, though others have been released over the years. The Pilot Moxes, however, remain powerful and popular. Cost-wise, the card averages between 4800 to 5500 It's a price tag alone that can purchase the majority of card sets that have gone on to win tournaments. It adds one blue mana which significantly empowers a player early in gameplay. The next card would be Time Walk, which featuring artwork that is somewhat ghastly yet eye-catching and unforgettable, Time Walk when used mindfully can be catastrophic to the opponent. It gives the card holder the ability to land a double punch by taking an extra turn. Considering the game is based on resource accumulation, Time Walk proved to be a card stronger than even Garfield had expected. Consequently, it was one of the first cards to be banned in tournaments. Its price ranges from $3,600 to $5,000. The next card will be Mox Jet. The fourth member of the Mox set this card costs around 3500 It is an alpha card, and the fact that it adds black mana to a player's pool of resources only makes it more valuable. In gameplay, having a mox card is handy since it avails more leverage than land cards without accompanying restrictions. Use of mox cards in tournaments have been significantly curtailed, but this has been done excuse me, but this has done nothing to reduce the value of most of the cards in the set. The next would be Mox Emerald. This particular Mox card adds green mana to a player's resources and its value remains inflexible at $3,000. As other Mox cards, it allows the player to make big moves in a game's initial stages, thereby giving the opponent little chance of recovery. The card's artwork is superb, and many fans agree that it is the most aesthetically pleasing card in the Mox set. The next on our list is Mox Pearl. Similar to Mox Emerald in functionality, Mox Pearl adds one white mana to a player's resource pool. Its value has remained steadily at $3,000 even as the Mox cards continue to be banned in many tournaments that are not vintage styled. The Mox Pearl is not that powerful, but it is, but it's a rarity that has been made as a favorite collector's item. The next card is Time Twister, and he is the last card on our list. 
As complicated as it is powerful, in a seasoned player's possession, this card can quickly bridge a gap between opposing players when the card holders is at a disadvantage. Featuring artwork that is interesting yet a tad disturbing, when played, both players have to shuffle and pick up cards afresh, which resets the game. Its price ranges between 2000 to 2500 Value-wise, it is closely rivaled by Tropical Island, which is not among the original influential cards uh, christened by the Power 9. In conclusion, you will be surprised to know that though the cards that we just mentioned are the rarest, there are many other cards with significantly high values due to their power, such as Tropical Island. For sure, owning any of these cards is akin to having a liquid asset worth a few thousand dollars or a brand new car. Thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one.